Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome to my channel program for hack and in this video I want to show you scheduling processes in Linux okay if you know in Windows that's work same as Windows but uh, more great than Windows okay so first of all let's roll that Okay, now let's move to our topic. The service which we will use is cron tab or tool or service, whatever you will say. Okay, you have to search cron tab and you will get articles and other things. Wikipedia link. Okay, so if I open this, you can see here. You can see the syntax. How do you use the command and the method? How you set these parameters? So if I go down, okay, where is the, okay, so in this way you will set the schedule, this is the file, which is a shell file, and this is the schedule to run this file, okay, this is minutes, this is hours, and this is I think weeks, I think here available, if you see here, the first is minute, the second is hour, and third is day of month and the fourth is month and the fifth is day of weeks okay so using these options you can specify when to run the process okay now i have a linux distro i think video will be small so i have a linux distro a linux mint so we will okay, what so we will use these things in here in this linux because if i use my main OS, then there will be problem in rebooting my operating system okay so let's see so what i want to show you i want to show you how you can use how you can run actually any process when you're system boots up okay so you can use these options okay you can specify uh, these options but uh, what i will use i will use this reboot uh, you can use this hourly daily weekly monthly and annually whatever uh, you want to use okay these are the special uh, tags you can say which we can use in cron tag and these are the where you can schedule your process in minutes, hours, and days, and other thing. So I open my Linux Mint and go here and zoom in. Cron tab, iPhone and L to see your schedule. Okay, I have no schedule. You can see all here is hashtags, which means comments. And if I con Cron tab iphone iphone help you will see help menu you can use you can specify a user and you can also remove delete all the cron tabs of user and from before deleting users cron tab okay so you can see options here so what i want to use i will not schedule any process you can schedule using this you can set your uh, schedule okay like if you want to schedule for here you can see every minute if you put these stars and after it you will put, uh, enter the command then it will schedule for every minute you can also say this and it will start after one minute and you can also put anything here you can see it will start uh, in two hours and one minutes okay so you can work like this but how you can where you want to edit or where you want to do these things where you want to enter these things so you have to just uh, enter contact iphone e and you will see this file you will see these instructions and the examples okay so you can see here minutes hours day of months 
months and day of weeks so you can edit using this you can see this is also in the same sequence okay so what i want to show you in this video i want to show you how you can edit this for reboot okay like if you have used windows then you know you can edit your registry or you can place your exe file in a startup folder so when your windows boot up the process will automatically start okay so we will do this thing so what i will do i will make a reboot and i will put a date and i think this is fine over date.txt so i will save this and exit this out i hope it will work just reboot this and see okay let's wait for it while well, it's rebooting and one thing more i want to say you uh, so much people saying me that make plugin for telegram hacking and make any plugin to hack telegram so please don't say me it again because i don't want to hack any telegram account i'm not interested to hack any telegram account the first video i uploaded of telegram hacking is only for informational and uh, educational purpose only for developer point of view you have carried it in other ways i have used think about that in other ways you think that i will support you to hack someone so please don't say me it again because i am disturbing okay so you can tell me other things like if you have any question again okay uh, about development or you can say me that i can make a video on this and i can also make a videos on flask web application development whatever you want if i can okay so let's log in but don't say me again about telegram hacking because i am irritating from that i have teased you how you can make plugins then make your own okay so you can read the documentation of telethon and pyrogram these are two modules used to make telegram user boards okay so wait for it while it's rebooting okay it has rebooted so let me wait wait and open my terminal because if you are using any os in your virtual box so after reboot you want to wait for some seconds because if you start working after reboot it will maybe held some time okay okay so now what you can do you can check your logs okay log over sys log so there is so much log so what i will do i will uh, search for specific logs like cron tab let's only search for cron so you can see here and you can see here you can see here the cron info running hashtag or greater than sorry this is not hashtag this is greater than and uh, reboot jobs okay so reboot job has performed so what i have done in the reboot job let me see if i prompt tab python e and go to run you can see i have set it that if the computer reboots or boot up so save this output output of this command in a file which is my home directory and name as date.txt so if i put here date you will see it will give me date and this output you will get in your home directory in a file let me see if i have a file date.txt so here you can see i have a file date.txt let me see let me see data in this file you can see when the pc is boot up and let me see the date of now you can see 
here is the uh, time difference okay the other things are same but the time difference okay because when our pc is boot up it will save that okay so you can also use in other ways i think i have an article on this uh, this article okay well, you can also delay in your command okay so you can use sleep command to delay your uh, processing or you can specify any shell file or any command you want you can run a python file using this okay so the motive of this video is to show you you can run a process on your boot up like you run in windows using registry or startup folder so i hope you like the video and if you like the video then subscribe and share my youtube channel and the video and allah is and if you have any a uh, question about videos and if you want any video or playlist so tell me i will make it allah is meet you in next video